A crisp autumn breeze wasn't enough to cool down the Zama Middle High School Trojans, who were on fire for nearly the entirety of the Far East Division II Championship football game, in which they steamrolled the Matthew C. Perry Samurai 47-13 on the Trojans' home field. U.S. Army Japan Commander Major General Viet Luong conducted the coin toss to start the matchup. First off, congratulations for being here uh, and making it to this final, okay? Great job by both teams. Go out there, play hard, play with heart, play clean, all right? and have good sportsmanship and respect each other. All right, may the best team win. Ready? Tails. 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 At the start of the first quarter, the Samurai tried to break through the Trojans' defensive line by running the ball, but were denied at every turn. However, the Trojan offense also suffered its lone hiccup early in the game. Quarterback Tim Matelski threw a pass intended for wide receiver Richard Stevieja, but it was picked off by MC Perry defensive back Justin Andrus who ran the ball to the end zone for the first touchdown of the game. From that point on, however, the Trojan offense barreled through the MC Perry defense relentlessly. Matelski started by completing a touchdown pass to freshman running back Brendan Jackson, putting Zama on the board and tying the game 6-6. At the start of the second quarter and with the Trojans near the Samurai 20-yard line, Matelski handed the ball off to Jackson, who barged through a line of defenders and into the end zone for another touchdown, putting Zama ahead 12-6. The Trojan defense kept up their impenetrable blocking game, shutting out M.C. Perry for the remainder of the half. On a fourth down punt attempt, M.C. Perry dropped the ball on the snap and recovered it in their own end zone, leading to a safety and two more points for the Trojans. Jackson made the highlight reel once again with a 30-yard scoring run, outmaneuvering seemingly every defender in his path. The Trojans went into halftime with a comfortable 26 lead. The Trojans did not let up as they started the second half. Matelski completed another touchdown pass, this time to wide receiver Chandler Platt. A successful extra point put them up 27-6. The Samurai offense, seemingly allergic to passing, tried to gain yardage with a reliance on running plays, but they were again shut out in the third quarter. In a contender for the play of the game, Matelski threw a laser-sighted 20-yard pass to Platt, who ran it straight to the end zone. However, the Trojans were charged with an offside penalty negating the play. Before the end of the third quarter, however, Matelski fired another 20-yard shot to wide receiver Keyshawn McNeil, who leapt up and snatched the ball amid a flurry of defensive hands. The Trojans were up 40-6. In the last quarter, MC Perry finally began to show their samurai spirit. Quarterback Alec Forrester handed the ball off to running back Marshall China, who ran it in for a touchdown. This would be their last score and last possession in the game's dwindling final minutes. The Trojans had previously put another touchdown on the board, this one again from Platt. Time expired, and the Zama Trojans were the 2019 Far East Division II champions. Last year, of course, we lost it, so this year was just focusing on the little things, uh, doing everything we can to come out and play how we played all season. It feels great because this is my first experience in high school football, really. And to come out here and just win a championship the first year of high school football, it just feels awesome. It's different. It's good to do this for Coach Bolin. He's been at this a while, and we wanted to give him what he deserves in a banner, in a championship. We did this for the seniors who've been here a while, just to give them all of their hard work. It's going to pay back eventually, and it did tonight. Uh, with that 47 to 13 right there. Uh, it, it, honestly, consistent play on offense, defense, and special teams, but the reality is that uh, this is the first undefeated season I've had and the first championship I've had. So in reality, these kids came together in a very special way um, and just they, they, they earned game after game the right to do it and to be here and to grab it. So that's what we're excited about.